my Tacoma has broken. After a few off-road trips that we done with the low clearance of the Tacoma. My radiator took a bent on the last trip we did to Escafol. Somehow my radiator bent, but it managed to make it out to the trip. It didn't start leaking until I got home. I washed it. I took off the skid plate and then I gave it a little nice bump and it started leaking. So we had the radiator removed and you can see how bent that is right there. Here's the skid plate. This skid plate was in perfect condition when I got it. And you can see how dinged up it is right now. While I was in my engine here, I decided to remove all my AC component. I removed the AC lines and I also got rid of the AC compressor. I'll be holding onto those parts for spare in case I need to throw that onto my pickup. But here is my timing belt. You can see here. The timing belt is starting to crack. And honestly, if I was to guess, man, I would say you can probably push this for another 20,000 miles if you really wanted to. But since um, since I'm already at this point here, I decided I'm just going to switch it out. Now, since we are on a budget and since there is a head gasket, which is being supported by Blue Dell right now, I'm only going to change just the belt. I'm not changing any of the bearings, not changing the water pump and not changing the tensioner. I'm gonna be in use all of that. I'm just gonna swap out the belt and then whenever the blue devil gives up and it's time for a head gasket, I'll go ahead and do a full overhaul head gasket, timing belt, um, water pump, etc., etc. But for right now, we're on a cheap belt. We're just gonna do it very, very cheap. Swap out the belt, put the radiator on, and then go from there. You can see here, it's not really leaking anything. I don't see any leak. Um, there's some water spots, but that's from yesterday when I was washing it up. And I'll probably go ahead and clean it again with some brake cleaner and some degreaser to make sure all this is nice and clean. Once I take off the belt and get this crank off, I'll clean it. This is one of the cam tension cam sensor here. It has a little bit of dirt right there, so I'll probably get a little nice... Uh, nice green sponge and clean that off this is very important so get that clean off and we'll go from there timing belt should be here tomorrow and then i also got the uh, 19 mil off of the crank boat but then the crank pulley is pretty stuck in there so i have to go i'm gonna in a few hours i'm gonna go rent a crank pulley puller so we can remove the crank pulley and then we'll remove this cover and then we'll go ahead and take off the belt here's the new radiator that i got from autozone this is the part number B1755. They had it in stock at my local AutoZone for $195. But if I was to order it online and had them ship it from downstate, um, I had a 20% off if I was to order it online. So I ordered it online and I paid about $165 for the radiator and also a radiator cap. So this is a new radiator cap. This is the part number. 7513 whenever you're buying a radiator they don't come with the cap so make sure you get the cap this is the old cap off my other radiator my old one and it happens to fit as well <laughs> happens to fit on this same radiator as well so what i would do is i'm gonna use the new one and then i'm gonna keep this one in the truck for spare you guys be surprised what a fail radiator cap can do to your engine so make sure um, you have a good working cap and also make sure you have some spares because I heard some pretty bad story where people's radiator cap, they either go off or go bad and it just messed up their whole day and this is when they're driving it. So make sure you have a good cap. So we're going to use the new one and then we're going to save this one and keep it for spare. But this is the new radiator. You always want to make sure it's the right measurement. So the way they do these radiators is that there is three different radiators for my truck. And they go off the measurement. So you have to measure from the core. They call it the core from here to here. And the one for what I need was the biggest one, which was like 22 inches and 5 eighths from here here. So you also want to make sure when you get your new radiator, you measure it. And then you also want to measure the mounting hose from side to side and from top to top and then also make sure they're in the right position you know your top radiator your bottom and then your 
automatic cooler this is for the automatic cooler for automatics if you don't have it you can just leave these cap off and this is the drain plug so for my setup i'm not gonna run the um, fan shroud anymore because i found out that the fan shroud they cause way more issue or at least it doesn't cause issue but it just catches so much dirt so it's not really ideal for off-roading so i'm not gonna run the fan shroud and i forgot to mention these mount right here are actually for the fan shroud the mount for the actual radiator is right over here the two big ones down here um these guys right here those are for the those are for the radiator to the cab and then these right here are the actual mount for the fan shell so i won't be running any fan shell for this setup but this is the radiator we'll go ahead and install this once we get the timing bill replaced 